logic building is a crucial and complex skill in programming. In essence, it is ability to come up with solution of coding problem and write precise instructions, or code, that a computer can execute autonomously. This skill requires aligning your thought process with computer and its capabilities, and running through code somewhat abstractly to know and predict the behavior of code before it is executed. To be able to do this, one essential step that many beginner programmers overlook is performing dry runs. The concept of a dry run in programming is straightforward. Can you mentally execute your code and predict its output without actually running it on a computer? While this seems simple, it is a challenging task. Typically, we are taught to write code, run it, and observe the output. This cycle is essential because code needs to run to be validated. However, if you rely solely on running your code to understand its behavior, you may struggle with building strong logic skills. The process of dry running involves visualizing the code execution in your mind. For example, when dealing with loops, you should be able to mentally trace the iterations and understand the changes in variables at each step. This ability is critical, especially for complex logic and pattern printing tasks. Often, beginners face difficulties with pattern printing and matrix operations because they fail to visualize the flow of the loops. They might write code with nested loops but struggle to understand how these loops interact to produce the desired output. This lack of visualization hinders their ability to debug and optimize code effectively. The most crucial aspect of getting better at dry running the code is understanding data flow. Many people grasp the concept of loops, how they iterate and repeat processes. However, the true challenge lies in understanding how data flows through each step of the loop. How does data get processed and transformed at each stage? This is not straightforward. Dry running your code on paper is essential. This means taking a pen and paper and manually tracing the value of your data at each step. By doing so, you can visualize and understand the transitions and transformations your data undergoes, making it easier to identify logical errors and inefficiencies. This understanding becomes even more critical when dealing with advanced methods in programming languages like JavaScript. Functions such as map, filter, and reduce add layers of complexity to data manipulation. Understanding how data flows, iterates, and changes during the execution of these methods is vital. Mastering data flow is your foundational step. Before diving into writing complex logic, take the time to meticulously analyze your data flow. Break down each step and understand how data moves and changes throughout your program. This disciplined approach not only helps in debugging but also in optimizing your code. Furthermore, this practice significantly enhances your logic building skills. By understanding the intricacies of data flow, you can create more efficient algorithms and solve problems more effectively. Therefore, make it a habit to dry run your code and focus on the data flow. This will lay a solid foundation for your programming journey and lead to greater success in tackling more advanced coding challenges. If you are constantly dependent on running your code to understand its behavior, it indicates a weakness in your logical thinking. As a coder, you should aim to predict the output before executing the code. This skill is vital because, in large-scale applications, Immediate execution and testing might not be feasible due to dependencies and complex interactions between different parts of the codebase. In real-world scenarios, you often cannot test every functionality immediately after writing it. Dependencies on other components, code from colleagues, or external systems mean that your code might not run as expected until the entire system is integrated. Therefore, being able to mentally simulate code execution is invaluable. One, practice pattern printing. Start with simple pattern printing exercises. Try to predict the output without running the code. Focus on understanding the role of each loop and how it affects the output. 
2. Break down the code. Analyze the code line by line and understand what each line does. For loops, identify which loop controls the rows and which controls the columns. Visualize the iteration process. 3. Write test cases. Before running the code, write down test cases and predict the output. After running the code, compare the actual output with your predictions. This practice will help you understand where your logic might be flawed. 4. Use pen and paper. For complex logic, use pen and paper to trace the flow of data and control structures. This manual process helps reinforce your understanding of the code. 5. Work on debugging. Try debugging without running the code. Identify potential issues by examining the logic and flow. This practice enhances your ability to spot errors and optimize code efficiently. Developing the skill to execute code mentally prepares you for larger projects and complex applications. It builds your confidence in your logical thinking and problem-solving abilities. Over time, this skill will enable you to write more efficient, error-free code and improve your overall coding proficiency.